When you look at these jewels, it's sort of impossible not to immediately imagine the beautiful young ladies in their fabulously exotic dresses. You can imagine the fashionable dinners, the court appearances, the coming out balls, to which these would have been worn, uh, and it's wonderfully romantic. This May, we're proud to offer a fascinating collection of noble jewels as part of our annual noble jewel section in Geneva. And at the centre of the section is this wonderful collection from the estate of Mary, Duchess of Roxburgh. She came from one of the two most powerful British dynasties of the last century and is interlinked with the British royal family throughout the 20th century. And her jewellery collection reflects this from a natural pearl black pearl and diamond suite of brooch and earrings by Cartier from the 1930s. A pair of natural pearl and diamond bracelets cased by Henel. An important diamond rivière from the mid-19th century and set with a, a row of graduating cushion-shaped diamonds in pinched silver and gold settings. And a very beautiful, somewhat exquisite ruby and diamond bracelet dated 1879 and inscribed from my beloved grandmother. There are three tiaras from Mary, Duchess of Roxburgh in the sale. A beautiful 1935-1936 tiara by Cartier. A ruby and diamond tiara dating from the latter part of the 19th century, which is a much more traditional tiara. And another, again from the end of the 19th century, which is a much more elaborate, very grand tiara that you could dismount from its frame and be worn as a necklace, a very spectacular necklace, in fact. It was quite common in the late 19th century and early 20th century for tiaras to be able to be worn in different ways. It made them so much more versatile. And this particular tiara, which converts into a necklace and is designed in the style of a Russian kokoshnik, was in fact worn at the coronation of King Edward VII in 1902. There really are some exciting jewels in this noble section, including a pair of Cartier carved emerald ruby and diamond tutti frutti clips, and no less than five tiaras. It really is a very poignant lifting of the curtain into the past.